I, I, I'm that hair. That her head is a lot smaller than mine, Lance. And if I was to put it on, I would just damage it. And you just heard what happens I... if I was to damage this hat. So I'm going to keep this really safe. And it's going to be sitting here on the desk in front of me. The referee Adam Smith is making the last few. Uh, instru uh, giving, giving the last year introduction to both wrestlers, and it looks like he's about to st uh, ready. He, he, sorry, <clears throat> he's about to get ready to start the match. Big shout out to Adam Smith. He's been here for quite a while. He is our uh, VWE official. And it looks like we are going to get this match underway. There's the bell. And we can see that both of these uh, competitors are about the same height and are reasonably about the same build, so this should be quite an interesting matchup. I think Kitty just has a little bit of height advantage, but only a small amount. Uh, yes, she does, but uh, Kitty only has just returned, you know, like two months ago, and since, since then she was followed by Lady Death and... Yeah, she has got a lot of attention from Lady Death, as we saw last week, um, with Lady Death coming out and saying that her attention is firmly fixed on Kitty at this point. So I don't know what that's going to mean for Kitty in the future, but uh, right now it looks like she's taking control of this matchup. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'll say that, there's a quick swift reversal. Sorry. Reversal by Kitty into a wrist lock of her own, followed in a hammer lock. Find that really pressure. technical stuff. Ooh, nasty strike there to the back. Yeah, buddy. I, I'm surprised to see Seba the Mad Hatter back here, I suppose, uh, especially since she's already um, it has been quite some time since last time she was seen on the show. Let's see if she has lose some, uh, if she has some ring rust, or if she's still a fancy competitor as we know her for. Well, it's a certainly a good matchup to start with, taking on Kitty here and uh, the the rock chick. Um, I think I think this is definitely going to wake her back up if she has got any ring dust and. Uh... You know, we, we might see some great things from her. I wonder if she's been doing any uh, serious training. Uh, okay, let's throw the cover. The Only a one count. Wow, that was that was unexpected. I was expecting, you know, maybe a, maybe a two count with a quick swift uh, pin, but you know, it seems that uh, maybe maybe the Mad Hatter's, you know, she's she's prone. She's she's ready to go. She's focused. She's she's right there. Speaking Maybe of not hat, I mean, uh, you better not spill that soda on that hat. I mean, you're, look at your soda cup. It's so close. I mean, Sarah could, like, knock it over and it could get ruined. Well, are, are you trying to imply here that you want to see this hat damage? So my yeah, I want to see off. this hat dam damage. I mean, who wants to see LG with his head cut off? Come on. No, no one. I think nobody and should focus on <laughs> All right, all right, all right. It looks like, uh, talking about heads being knocked off, it looks like uh, Mad Hat is working right on the hair of uh, Kitty right now, dragging her around by it, so her head might fall off at any point. Ooh, and there's something that'll take your head clean off. There's a nice high drop kick. Goes for another cover. Still only a one count. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Get up off that one so quick. I'd, I would have thought I would have knocked away. It's probably just pure adrenaline, to be fair. Well, we're still early in the match, and Kitty is a tough kitty, so to speak. And she is also a rock and roller, so she isn't going to give up yet. Well, like, like a certain band says, I mean, she probably part... She probably rock and rolls all night and party every day. She definitely rocked and rolled around the, <laughs> the Mad Hatter's head right there and then planted it into the ground with some 
absolutely severe force. Oh, going up to the kitty, going up to the high risk district. Oh, just delivers a flying leg drop. Yeah. Good height up there, perfectly executed, and it's right across the uh, the chest area of of Sarah trying to knock the wind out of her. And there's another Close pin. Cover. Ooh, very close, very close. I thought I thought his his hand hit the mat. It's uh, only a two count. The shoulder was up. There we go, uh, Kitty is picking up uh, Seba, Seba from the floor and she falls up with a nice uh, kick. Uh, you know LG, I, I kind of missed breakfast this morning, how about you take that hat and fill it up with some popcorn? We st we still going here, I've told you, if this hat gets damaged, I am going to have no hat, so you leave this hat <laughs> alone. It's safe where it is, just leave it there. Looks like uh, Mad has got... Uh, Kitty's leg right there. Ooh, I'm really working on the inner thigh. That really sends a shock through the uh, through the whole leg mm. and incapacitate it. Nice knee face the cover. Nice knee face buster bike. Um Seba as One, she goes for the two. pinfall. Oh the my goodness. Count there. He so count. Count. I think I I think Adam wasn't happy with the uh, position of the shoulder. I think I think it may have been wandering from the mat. Uh, it was a one count, and then he sort of stumbled for the other two. Um, he's got to make sure that the shoulders are both down. Looks like the mat is taking, uh, taking advantage of this gap to get a bit of air. Yeah, the crowd yelling to get uh, for for Kitty to get up. Hot Irish whip into the corner. Uh, Kitty as she follows up with uh, some stiff kicks. Ooh, nasty, nasty, nasty. That's a place you don't want to be. Picking it straight back up. And a few more kicks following as she hits the midsection from Seba. And now falls. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, uh, my goodness. Inverted head oh. scissors. <laughs> Showing some versatility there and some acrobatic skill by uh, from throwing her around the corner by her hair and her head by the, her legs. If that made any sense, it didn't make any sense to me, but you saw it, so. And, and here's he goes for the pin for one, two, and Ooh. oh my god! I thought that was she it. She just kicked I... out in the nick of time. I, I and... thought that oh was god. it. Oh my god! Wait, wait a second! Wait a second! What's going to? What's happening? Now? Wait, who's this? Oh, wait oh, a second! Oh my god! That's Lady Death coming down to the ring. Oh, as I mentioned before, Lady Death said that she's got her uh, her eyes focused on Kitty. And this is exactly what I was talking about when I said that we'd get no idea what that oh, means. Oh boy. Oh my god. No. And she's not alone. She, oh she no, and she's brought that guy with her. Side. I'm just glad he's got the straight jacket on. He seems a lot more docile with that straight jacket on as we saw last week. Oh my god, oh my god. Shit, this about to get, get serious here. Do you think her presence oh. is going to affect this matchup? Do you think it's going to affect Kitty's, uh, you know, focus on the match? Oh my she's God. Taking, she's... Hang around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, make them suffer. Well, I can't say this was a very good report performance by Lady Dennis. But it also was enough to distract Kitty Lovecraft and Saber the Mad Hatter. I think she just what I don't know what's going really going on. What's your thought about the situation? I think it's definitely got her attention. I mean, she is totally focused, and we've got the crisis now taken off that straight jacket. Now we've seen this oh, before. Oh no, this is this not guy is, good. He doesn't care. He doesn't care, male, female. 
Well, whoever you are, he'll take you on. Oh my god, it was just the ring. stalking Sebo. And Sebo is running to the back, followed by the crisis. <laughs> and back, now back into the ring, Lady Taz is squaring off against Kitty Lovencraft. Well, Kitty wanted the attention of Lady Death, and here it is right here, she's got it. And they're both locking up. Rightfully so, Adam has now uh, closed the match, that would be a, that'll be a disqualification, and there'll be no well, winners of that match. He just calls it a no contest, and Lady Death just kicks uh, Kitty Lovencraft in the stomach, followed up by a uh, vicious double Ooh. underhook pile driver. Fall from Great Death's Grace, she calls that one. That is a nasty, nasty <laughs> move. <laughs> oh, poor kitty. Just remember, dear, this was all your fault. Maybe Jeff does his heart for losing the problems when you want that. You know, if you have the inmate run this side on, uh, troubles are just going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I've got